we want to understand better what is human perception of the space while we're moving through the abstract environment. We would like to understand how do we navigate in space, how do we orient in space. How can we transport science and the fascination about it to everybody? My name is Jochen Müller. I'm a neuroscientist and a science communicator, and I'm the organizer and host of uh, Einstein in the Dome. When you talk to scientists about his or her project, then you see that they really burn. They really have this enthusiasm for their project. And we wanted to communicate this enthusiasm. And we thought that this, this setting gives us the best chances for this. But event series like this offer the opportunity to show a lay audience What's the, what's the topic about? And to also afterwards get in touch with the scientists, ask them questions, get answers from them. And this is, I think, one of the most important things in science apart from achieving results. So how can you turn a scientific talk into a 360 degree immersive experience? You're taken in, you're kind of sucked into the image. You'd really dive into the world, into the ideas of the scientist. And you see the effect after the show, when the light goes on and you look into faces like this and you see, man, you really touch the people. This is what we try to do and I hope this is what we accomplish with the Einstein in the Dome. I'm Pratip Deed, I'm a neuroscientist at the Charité University. We started the project Kofkino as an interaction project between neuroscience and architecture. And of course, the topic where we both come together, a good intersection is space. How do we navigate in space? How do we orient in space? We live in more and more complex urban environments. So we want to use this immersive media to show different spaces. That's where architecture comes in. And we are gonna measure uh, how we feel in such spaces. And this information would be used by architects to redesign spaces. We would like to understand what are the bottlenecks in special design, how we feel in space, and probably we can come up with better design, better cities, better urban spaces uh, from this information from neuroscience and make cities of the future more accessible to all kinds of people and more inclusive design. The very basic question is, is physical space the same as virtual space? And research has shown that this is the case, so we can actually use this dome as a tool for studying interaction between neuroscience and architecture. For the first time, under this dome, we will show you during our event how we intend to measure brain activity and by that how we can quantify how we are feeling in space. For me as an architect I want to understand better what is the human perception and in this field we want to combine neuroscience and architectural together in the field of the immersive technology. collaboration work, uh, we want to understand better what is uh, human perception of the space while we're moving through the abstract uh, environment. And we are asking ourselves if urban environment can be built around the positive human experience. In our studio, we're using two and a half meter projection dome for space creation, space presentation, but at the same time, we want to understand better space perception. 
and we used to work also with VR, but um, the uh, VR experience limits us from our physical body. We cannot see ourselves or we are presented in pure virtual space as a virtual avatar. And in the dome, it's a combination of physical and, vi and digital world. The full dome format is the most intensive in visual impression for architectural and science storytelling. This is the first time we are showing uh, on a big screen, on a big platform, like the Berlin Planetarium, our work. So we are very excited uh, how this is going to go. We think it's very important and interesting, so let's get engaged in direct conversation. This is something really special when you are really in the image, in the thought of the scientists, and this makes this show an unforgettable experience.